how to become a spiritual baddie. <laughs> okay, I feel ridiculous saying that. You know what I'm saying. You want to have a spiritual life. You want to be a conscious creator. You want to be on top of your stuff. We want to get what we want. We want to feel as good as we want. We want to look amazing. We want to treat ourselves with kindness. We want to treat others with kindness. We want money flowing in. We want our dreams coming true. We want to live the life of a spiritual master conscious creator. I'm working on it. I'm doing it myself. Here's how I do it. Here's how you can do it. Four steps to becoming a spiritual baddie in this episode of Roxy Talks. Stay tuned. What is up, my fellow dreamers and soul searchers? Welcome to another episode of Roxy Talks, where we discuss confidence, mindset, manifestation, and more. I'm Roxy Lee. I'm a mindset coach, and I'm here to help you banish your negative thinking and limiting beliefs so you can bring love, clarity, and joy into your life. Now, I've been on my spiritual journey here for over a decade. I've been building and perfecting my understanding of what manifestation is and how earth works and using this to create the life that I want to live and help others do the same for themselves. And I've had my own ups and downs. Life continues to throw curveballs at us. I mean, it's an abundant world. There's going to be everything, right? So I'm going to encounter, we're going to encounter all kinds of stuff on our journey. It's just natural. How could we not? You know, we're here in a place full of stuff. Stuff's coming our way. We're coming towards stuff. So what I have found is that no matter what kind of ups and downs might come my way, what always gets me through or doesn't, I should say, is whether or not I am on top of my spiritual practice. What a spirituality practice is, is learning to connect with and love yourself and accept yourself and be with yourself and enjoy life and enjoy the people around you, how to make it through whatever life throws at you in the best way possible. That's what a spiritual practice does. And that is something that even two years into having a manifestation business, I'm still really fully just understanding now. And who knows where I'm going to be in five years, right? But right now, I just want to explain how and why it's important for you to have a fully well-rounded practice that includes focusing on your mental, physical, emotional, and spiritual health. And coincidentally, those are your four areas. That's the four things we're going to be talking about here. How to have a spiritual practice, how to be your spiritual baddie, how to like live your best life is to tick one of those boxes every single day, in my personal opinion. So before we get into it, please hit the like button and the subscribe button if you want to watch more videos. Click that bell notification if you want YouTube to let you know when the videos come out. They say sometimes they don't let you know. I don't know. I don't understand. I'm just here creating. Any hoodles, spiritual practice, living a spiritual lifestyle, being a spiritual baddie. What that entails is being super connected to yourself, being super connected to the earth in a non-materialistic way, loving it for what it is, for what it provides you, for the connection that you have to it, because it's its own living, thinking, breathing being. We are more than just meat bags, you know, like we, we have so much more to us that we're not necessarily taught to see until our eyes are opened up somehow. And then we do the digging ourselves. There are connections to be made and truths about ourselves that may be hidden, but are not gone forever. And in fact, the answer to all of that stuff lies within us already. We have the connection to speak to the higher power, to speak to whatever else is out there already. It's in our heads. We're doing it already. We just sometimes don't realize it. So the first important thing that we need to do every single day is connect spiritually. We've got to have a spiritual connection every day that reminds us that we're in control, okay? Because this is how we stay in control, is to remember that we're in control. I'm actually talking about that on this week's podcast. So tune in. You can find it on all the podcast platforms or at my website, roxytalks.com. So spiritual connection every single day. Meditate daily, guided or unguided. Clear your thoughts. Have a moment of empty space in your head to enjoy and acknowledge the peace of existence, the peace of being the piece of connection. Check out the book, The Power of Now to really understand what this is all about. But this spiritual connection, this getting beyond 
the physical realm is so important because we, again, we need to remember it in order to harness that power. If you don't remember that you're in control, you are liable to not use the control, right? We know that we do it all the time. Every time we forget that we're in control, we're not using our powers to their fullest extent. And me personally, I don't know about you. I forget that I'm in control. You know what? I'm not going to affirm that. I remember that I'm in control all day long. <laughs> okay. Every day, all day, I'm aware that I'm in control. Okay. And that's control right there for you. That's how you do it. So meditate daily, go internal, go into your intuition, go with intention, seek connections, answers, and understanding from your higher power because it's there. The acceptance that you want is already within you. You just have to clear away your incessant thoughts that tell you that you're not worth it or you're not good enough or whatever they sound like for long enough to let the message come through because it's there for you. It's being transmitted to you as we speak. If you were able to pause your thoughts for long enough right now, pause this video, pause your thoughts, close your eyes, just focus on your breath or on your breathing or the emptiness or the nothingness of, of empty thought. And you will hear and you will feel acceptance and love because it's right there. It's right there. Just waiting for you to turn down the noise long enough for it to be heard, okay? So connect spiritually every single day. Talk to your higher power. Talk to your intuition. Pay attention. Listen to yourself. You have the answers and the information that you need already. It's all going on inside of you. If, again, you can quiet the madness from the 3D world for just a little bit, you'll get all the information that you need. Next part is going to be our emotional health. We need to be doing something every day to ease the emotions that swell inside of us, okay? I talked recently on Mindset Monday. That's our live weekly chat. You can come talk to me. I'll answer your manifestation questions. We talked about how life is almost like constantly triggering us. It's infinite. Lots of stuff coming at us constantly. We know that everything's, we're kind of being bombarded constantly. And so there might be like these miniature or micro triggers that are firing constantly and getting us worked up. And we're not properly purging. We're not properly emptying our cup. We're not properly refilling our cup emotionally. And a lot of this stuff builds up and gets suppressed, turns into depression and fear, worry, anxiety, all of that stuff, right? So every day we need to be doing something for our emotional health. We need to be purging. We need to be snapping out of reality, remembering who we are. Remember the spiritual connection remembering that we came here to live a beautiful life. We're filling our day and our time with things that actually make us feel good. Things that actually remind us of why we love life. We're keeping our emotional core healthy, happy, relieved, unburdened, peaceful by not letting feelings build up. We're going to purge. We're going to get them out of there with these methods, all the methods in this video are going to help you do those things. And we're going to fill our cup again. We're going to do something every single day, if not one thing, two, three, four, five, seven, a hundred, doesn't really matter. Stuff every day that makes us feel good. You like to color, color every day. You like to read, you like to shake your booty, you like to do crafts, you like to paint. Maybe you like to sing. Maybe we're talking to a friend, somebody that knows us, journaling, scripting, intending. All of those things are going to be helping us do the emotional work and take care of the inside of us that we need to be doing. And the next part, obviously, is going to be the mental health part. We need to be using our thinking in a productive way. Just like I mentioned in pretty much every video, my 360 method, I'll link a video above talking about it, is a lifesaver. It's a life changer. It's a game changer. It keeps you focused where you need to be because your thoughts are manifesting. So when we're dealing with our spiritual connection, when we're dealing with our emotions, whether or not we're up, we're down, we're all over the place, we're centered, we're focused, we're apathetic, we're happy, we're sad, it doesn't really matter. The thinking that we're doing during all of that is creating our physical reality. So that that's a byproduct of our thoughts. It's happening no matter how we feel, okay? So we need to be very much on top of what we're doing with our thinking and our words and our speaking and our reactions because that's what manifests. So we can't be allowing ourselves to dwell on negative ideas, negative thoughts, fears, worries, doubts. We can't do that anymore. We've got to use our thinking to make ourselves and insert positive thoughts, positive thinking, productive thinking, make ourselves think thoughts that actually work for the 
chosen reality we want to move to or the chosen reality that we want to be the chosen versions of ourselves, the thoughts that that version of ourselves would be thinking. We're lining up our thoughts to those of our ideal versions of ourselves and we need to make sure that we're matched up as good and as much as possible. So we're staying on top of our thoughts through the good and the bad times. There is no good or bad. That's just our perception that makes it so. There's just things. It's just stuff. It's just energy. It's just existence. So we're no longer labeling things as bad or fearful or worrisome or oh my God or no, oh no, and oh shit. That doesn't happen anymore because we're on top of our thoughts. And what that's going to do is that's going to help us not build up so much emotional stuff that we need to purge. So it's going to help us with step two by lowering that threshold and lowering the amount of stuff and inner tor turmoil that we have going on. And we're going to use our mental capacities to constantly be learning and opening ourselves up to new information, new concepts, new definitions of ourselves. We're keeping an open mind because we know we're in control and we know that when our mind is open, we have the ability to transcend ourselves in ways that we didn't even realize were possible. When our mind is closed, we stay in the small box or the small place that we've always been in. So we open our minds up to new information, new possibilities. We allow ourselves to let the old or negative thoughts disappear, <laughs> dissolve. We disassociate from them and we bring in the thoughts of the chosen reality, the better high quality thoughts, the more productive ones. We're using our thinking, our mental space to keep a more healthy and pure and enjoyable environment in our minds to live in. And then finally, the fourth piece of this puzzle is we're caring about our physical health as well. We're connecting to the physicality of being a human being every single day. Maybe that's yoga. And you know what happens in yoga? We set intentions. We meditate. We're bringing in the emotional healing, the mental stuff, the spiritual connection. Again, like I said before, it all works together. Maybe we're taking walks. We're going into nature. We're connecting with the earth. We're putting our feet in the grass and grounding ourselves. Maybe you like to work out. Maybe you go sit on the beach, feel the sand in your toes and under your butt. We're doing something every day to remind ourselves of the beauty of the physicality of the world. We're eating a conscious diet. We're taking care of ourselves before anything quote unquote bad or negative happens to us. Again, we're purging our emotions like in step two. How do we purge our emotions? Therapy, good convos, good cries, support groups, shadow work if you want to call it that, journaling, scripting, again, these things that are allowing us to process and move through the emotional baggage that we're carrying around and dealing with. We're taking care of the vessel that we are riding through this life in, in every way that we can, physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. We're becoming completely whole and well-rounded as individuals. It's making us happier internally and externally. It's making our connections with other people better. We're not going to be angry so much. We're not going to be ready to pop off or like, you know, just having a pressure cooker situation going on because we're allowing ourselves to purge our emotions in healthy ways. We're addressing the things that cause us pain or hurt us. We're speaking our minds. We're using our thinking and our speaking to describe the world we want to live in. We're being conscious creators. We're in control of our story. We're in control of ourselves. We're taking care of ourselves. If that means standing up for ourselves, we're doing that. We're standing in our truths and we're standing in our boundaries. We're accepting ourselves for who we are. All of this is happening simultaneously as you're taking care of these four areas of your life. And this needs to be done every day. Because if you don't, then the buildup just gets too much. I notice a huge difference on the days when I do meditate and the days when I don't. Just the way I react to the 3D is vastly different. And there I am affirming that. Actually, I'm always reacting in the best possible way to my 3D reality because everything's always working out for me. And I don't care what my 3D looks like. I know that it's working out in my favor. And I'm confident and sure of that because I remind myself every day I'm connecting spiritually, I'm dealing with my emotional stuff, and I'm putting my body in places and situations that are good for it and make me feel good and make me feel healthy and, and promote longevity on the planet. So I want you to comment down below. I am dedicated to my personal well-being. I am dedicated to my personal well-being. And this is a reminder that nothing is more important than how you feel and what you're experiencing because that is going to affect 
what you do next, how you think about your situation, and that is what comes down the line for you. That's what manifests, okay? So love yourself, love other people. You can do this. The power is in you. You already have this going on, okay? So if you need help uncovering it or finding it or pinpointing it, I can help you with one-on-one -on -one coaching. I've got also great workshops and free content on my website, roxytalks.com. Be sure to check that out. But either way, you don't need me. You don't need anything except yourself and dedication to do this, okay? So make sure that you're taking care of yourself in these four ways every single day and you're going to notice a shift in your life you're going to feel better. You're going to feel better about your situation. Things are going to unfold for you in amazing ways that you never thought possible. And it's going to remind you that you really do have this power. You really are in control. You really are that spiritual baddie already. Okay. You can do this. I believe in you. You got this. So don't forget, if you want help figuring this out, figuring out your affirmations, nailing things down, you can grab one-on-one -on -one coaching with me at my website, roxytalks.com. Also, amazing courses, workshops, free content, community, as well as my Facebook group, Black Moon Society. You can also join me for a live chat on Mondays at noon-ish PST, where I will answer your manifestation questions. You can also join me during video premieres where I do a little bit of live chatting as well. There's many ways to join me, many ways to talk to me. Check everything out at roxytalks.com. We're all raising our vibrations together. You have the power. I believe in you.